Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. It's Enios and today we're gonna be jumping into a new mode that we unlocked last night. We're gonna go ahead and jump into events. And here it is guys. We finally unlocked joint exercises. So what it looks like it's you get to pick a character shown on the screen and if you look at down here you're gonna get some shinobi fragments so you can see it, it lets you know you need two more shinobi fragments to awaken this man to five stars you need 61 for choji at least in my scenario i need 75 just to acquire we need 77 to awaken him to a five and 70 to awaken the pretty boy Aku into four stars so i haven't done one myself i wanted to save the reaction for when i'm uh recording so we're gonna go ahead and jump into i mean i guess we can do i really i wanted let's see this guy i want this guy and it doesn't look like it doesn't look like we're gonna get anybody so it looks like you have to join two other players in order to attack because if you guys look at his look at the enemy power is 93 and then just with it looks like the added power between the two of us is 13 so it looks like we just dominate i don't know if i can press battle because if it is like this then we have a huge advantage and then you guys see like victory reward if you guys win you get a the shinobi fragment plus some supplies multiplayer victory bonus is you get the fragment and some coins which it's a nice little thing to add because it gives you that 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 feeling of like oh i need to go do joint exercises because i'm gonna get more coins and more coins leads into summoning for new characters to grow your characters to grow your roster to play better matches so it doesn't look like we're gonna be getting a third member so we'll just go ahead and leave this so let's go ahead and jump into kiba because we only need two more oh so this time it looks like i'm in first place i guess it's just like a matter of a, wait a waiting game to see if if anybody wants to join but as you guys can see here you, you can edit your team you can put auto edit and it gives me the same same people so we're just gonna go with the strongest we're not gonna do any team synergy nothing just nothing but raw power okay i don't see anything coming on oh so you gotta press leave not the back button all right i saw the other one i guess the little sign right here means that it's an active an active uh for the character Okay, so it's pretty much a waiting game. Let's go ahead and try Haku. And <laughs> nothing. Let's go ahead and pick the last one. So this is pretty much a waiting game like if you have another game that you can play i would just suggest to put it in oh there we go let's battle we got lucky on that one all right so that's the elite enemy Does it can we attack? Oh yeah. So you have the option of autoing it or you having control of the characters. Okay, so let's go ahead and 
We're gonna attack Tamari because she's AOE. Plus we have three attackers, which should be we should be delivering the final blow. So this is another good way of getting fragments. We have elite missions that cost energy and sometimes that can be a downer. But hey, we have we have the second options, which I really think is nice for a game. So you don't feel like you're, you're limited because you have to balance your energy with elite and standard missions. Let's go ahead and attack Neji because he has the lowest health, and that's all. All right, so now we're just gonna. Oh, look at this dude! I've never seen him before. That was pretty nice. It was just like just like in the anime. Should we do co-op? Yeah, let's just go ahead and do a co-op attack. There we go. Rasengan, Rasengan, Chidori. Oh! Dang, Boruto almost took him out. Look at Boruto being a little powerhouse. Okay, so we win. We get a fragment. We get some resources. And then we get some coins. We get the coins, yo. <laughs> so I don't see my multiplayer bonus. So I guess we're just able to keep going with the same team. Well, let's go ahead and see what happens. I'm glad we have a team of three, not a team of two. So that's really helpful. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and attack. Oh, we have a D. Maybe we should go for Neji this time. Just because we have two D characters instead of the three A. Alright, now we can go for... Uh, let's just go for some more. Little Boruto over here is being a powerhouse. Look at him with a crit. Say no more. If you guys do have this man, Derai, right here, let me know in the comment section below. Is he good? Is he bad? Is he worth grinding for? Uh, let me know. Because I want to get him just because I don't have him. But if he's not worth it, like I'm okay with not having him in my team. So just let me know in the comment section below. And that's game. Oh, no, no. I think he's going to survive. He survived by by a hair. Look at his bar. Just look at his bar. All right, we're just gonna go. We're gonna go ahead. And you know what? Let's do this. Flexing that you are Hokage Naruto, though. Character we don't have yet. Okay, so in total we have two fragments. It looks like it just hands out. Alright, let's do the last one. Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and attack Neji. So you get three fragments per day, your choice of shinobi. 
actually, I mean, it, it's not, it's the same thing as an elite mission, so you can't, I can't really complain, because they're pretty much free, you know, all you have to do to unlock this is level up, um, which is a lot more generous than any, like, any other gacha games. It's just a matter of, of grinding and patience. Of course, you can always flex that credit card. You know what I'm saying? And just, just do that. But a lot of people out there have to grind. Which is totally fine. It makes the game fun. You're not rushing through everything. Plus, the game is like super brand new, so there's a lot of things that are like gonna come to the game that are gonna get added. So we still have time. And let's go ahead and use the tribe special. This time, they use the Rasengan. Is it passed through the ages or through generations? Pass through ages. Okay, not once did I see getting this a premium item that can be sent on various end game upgrades, summons, and etc. So I didn't see us getting any of that. Okay. So it's, a, it's not a bad, it's not a bad um, game mode. I think they should have done it like a little bit, whatever character does more damage or um, I think that players should be able to get a little bit more. Let's go check if maybe they sent it to the inbox. Wait, no, they didn't. Oh, don't forget, guys, to claim your stamina boost. Okay, so I did not see the. I didn't see this multiplier reward. Maybe it's just on random occasions. But let me know, guys, if you guys have gotten it or if you guys know how to get it. Let me know in the comment section below. Overall, this joint exercise is a really good method of getting more fragments. It's really helpful. It's super resourceful for the players. Uh, so, I mean, I like it. it. The only thing I don't like is the fact that you have to wait a little bit. It's kind of like a waiting game. But we got lucky on that one. And with that being said, if you guys like what you guys see, and if you guys want more, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. It's really gonna help me out in the long run to grow the channel, to get more people in here. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good things that YouTube requires me to say at the end of the videos. But everybody, please be safe out there, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.